So, I gotta tell you, today, um, I got something on my Instagram that kind of really hit me right here. Um, I get comments all the time on my Instagram uh, posts. Um, all are heartfelt. All are positive. Um, I've been blessed with no negative comments, um, but we take it all. But today, um, I got a comment that said, uh, it was from a person who told me, what I was doing is what they love about Instagram. And I was like, wow. I was like, what I'm doing is what someone else loves about Instagram as an app and a company. It don't get any better than that. It don't get any better than knowing you're reaching out there and other people are being touched in a good way, in a positive way. That's called impact. And that got me to just thinking today about how our daily activities affect affect everybody. You know, how the things we say affect people. How the things we text affect people. Um, how we drive. How we coordinate ourselves on social media. All these things come together. They not only make us who we are or how we appear on the outside, but it has a great impact on other people. And I always say it, it doesn't matter what other people think. And to that, I need to clarify. What it means is when it comes to reaching your goals, don't let people put you down. Don't let other people's opinion sway you or keep you from going after what you want. When it comes to those kind of instances, always remembering that not everybody's always right. Not over everybody's opinion's correct. I think it was Les Brown who said that other people's opinions don't have to become your reality. That's when I say don't worry about what other people think. Don't care what other people think. Now on the flip side of that coin, care about how your actions project you onto others and how that impacts others. Are you angry? Are you always bitter? Are you negative? Are you down? Do you repel people? Start looking at ways of how you're impacting. And one thing I always tell people when I go to schools and I talk to kids is how you project yourself doesn't have to be who you are. Uh, just like in a, uh, an older video that I did, it talked about squeezing an orange, you know, and getting orange juice out of it. What's really inside of you needs to come out. And you've got to work to say, okay, I'm this kind of person. How would I, how would I handle this? What would I do? What would I say? How would I dress? I don't believe clothes make the man. But it's amazing when you can start dressing the way you're comfortable and you're projecting you because you're not only pulling your soul out, your mind, your verbal skills, your eye contact, your mannerisms is all present, but they've got to be present for the clothes to bring it out. They don't make the person, you know, and it's, you know, and it's how you're saying things. What kind of words are you using? Are you using intellectual words? Are you using uh, words that people need to get a dictionary because they've never heard of before? Are you uh, speaking directly to somebody? Or are you kind of speaking through them? Um, all these things are impact. And so just how this one Instagram post came to me today, it got me to thinking about how we're impacting. And for WTS tonight, my call to you for action is look at yourself and really sit there and see what are you doing what am I doing to impact others I don't mean as a writer I don't mean as a speaker I mean maybe as a teacher or a lawyer or a doctor or a parent a neighbor a friend 
How are you impacting others? When you can start thinking of this kind of thing daily, several times a day, you can kind of drive your own car back on the road where you want to be. And that's an amazing feeling when you can grab life by the wheel again and start impacting from the inside with who you really are. So whatever day you're reading this or sorry, watching this, whatever time it is, if it's night time, I want to challenge you to do this tomorrow. If it's in the daytime, I want to challenge you before this day's over. Look at yourself and start saying, if you could be the person that you really want to be, how would you act? How would you talk? How would you sit in a meeting? How would you drive your car? What kind of music would you listen to on the radio? How would you respond to people when you get home? Start following in that trail. It's not easy to begin with. It's never easy. But you will get on the path. And one day you're going to look back and you're going to say, Oh my gosh, I'm who I wanted to be. So go out there, take every day. We're getting closer to the end of 2017. Uh, if you're going to be traveling, please be safe. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. You guys, go out there and crush it. Take care.